Psychology and I am one of the students of Mrs. Al Adamos in Chemistry and today I'll be demonstrating on how to do the virtual lab in making stock solutions from a solid, more specifically the topic of psychometry and limiting regions of children problem. So let's start. Click the file, load an assignment and the topic stoichiometry and limiting regions the jello problem i'll click that okay for the problem the stock room contains one mole solutions of a b d f and h these react as follows a plus b is equivalent to c which is colored green c plus d is equivalent to 2e which is color red 2e plus 3f is equivalent to g which is color blue and lastly 4g plus h is equivalent to i which is color yellow so the chemicals a b d f and h are all clear but the chemical c is green e is red g is blue and i is yellow so basically we have four colors that we need to accomplish so the task will be to prepare 50 ml solutions of A, B, D, F, and H. Okay, so when you pour uh, 50 ml solutions of A into the 50 ml solution of B, you should obtain a green solution containing only C. When this is poured into your solution of D, you should get a red solution containing only E. Pouring this into F should give a blue solution containing only G. Finally, pouring this into H should give a yellow solution containing only I. So basically in this virtual lab, we should be able to produce four chemicals. Chemical C, which is color green. Chemical 2E, which is color red. Chemical G, which is color blue. And chemical I, which is yellow. So we are going to pour 50 ml per chemicals but in the case of producing chemical G we should pour 150 ml solution of substance F since it is stated in the problem 3F meaning to say 3 times 50 ml so 150 ml okay so we need one mole solution of substance A Let's go to the glassware for graduated cylinders, which will be 50 ml, and a beaker, which is 600 ml beaker. Okay, so what we're gonna do is pour 150 ml of chemical A into the graduated cylinder, and when we're done pouring it into the graduated cylinder, let's pour it into the beaker. So let's type 50 ml, pour, then let's transfer it to the beaker. Zoom out. Then let's check the problem so that we'll be guided. We'll pour another 50 ml of B so that can be able to produce chemical C which is color green so same procedure again pour 50 ml solution of substance B into the graduated cylinder and afterwards put the substance into the beaker Let's type 50 ml, then pour, then put it on the beaker, type 50 ml. As you have observed, 
this is the color of chemical C which is color green so the next thing that we need to do is add 50 ml solution of chemical D to the chemical C so let's go to the solutions then get the one mole solution of substance D the procedure is just the same with the previous one add 50 ml solution of chemical D into the graduated cylinder and afterwards pour it into the beaker so that it will produce chemical 2E which is color red. So type 50 ml then pour it into the beaker. Type 50 ml and so that is the color of chemical 2E which is color red. Let's proceed to the next one, which is chemical G. So I've mentioned earlier that we need 150 ml solution of substance F in order to produce chemical G, which is color B. So let's add one mole solution of substance F. To be able to produce 150 ml solution of substance F, we need another beaker. So, the first thing that we need to do is pour 100 ml into the beaker and another 50 ml so that it will produce 150 ml solution of substance F. Type 50 ml. Type 50 ml, then pour it into the beaker. And the 150 ml solution of substance F will be poured into the chemical 2E, which is the color red, or in the another beaker, to produce chemical G, which is color blue. So we had already produced three chemicals. Only one chemical is left, which is chemical I, color yellow. So we need to add another 50 ml of chemical H to produce chemical I. So let's check the question again so that we'll be guided. We will add 4G plus H, which will turn into chemical I, which is color yellow. So let's go to the solutions, then add one mole solution of chemical H. Then a graduated cylinder, which is 50 ml. Then we'll be transferring 50 ml of chemical H and pour it into the beaker to produce chemical I. So type 50 ml then here it goes that is the color of chemical i so i think we're done 